Ah, and I'm back. Here we go. Um, if I did cut this in half, of course, that was my, uh, that would have been the end of the last episode. This is the beginning of another episode. Yay. So welcome, no, welcome here. Welcome in. I had to take a little bit of a break. My uh, voice was starting to crack, but I didn't stop recording, so I figured I'd just uh, make a little break in. So we have to go in here. Uh, Bobolina. Is that his name? Bobolina? I don't remember. He said that we gotta hang up some flyers. So. And boy, howdy. Look at all the quests in here. Son of a bitch. Uh, Genevieve. Which. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, th this quest. Ah! <laughs> what have you done? Your kind has no business to even look at a lady such as I. Well, you know, you're. Yeah, you're not really that bad looking, I guess. Such, such shocking, unbelievable insolence. And now look, look at how my gill is scattered across the ground. Pick it up right this instant. Uh, Lady Genevieve uh, wants you to gather the gill, which you caused her to drop on the ground. Interacting. Uh, of course, whenever you see something, you can interact it. You select it. I mean, this, is, this is basically teaching you how to do certain things in the game. If you find something, you just go up to it. And touch it. Interacting. Thing. Interacting. Now, let's just take the gill and run. Fuck her. <laughs> uh, my gill. Now. There had better be not missing. Uh, no, it's all here. Huh, this appears to be everything. What are you still staring at? Are you expecting some kind of reward? The insol insolence. Harumph. She's amazing, though, because I gave her back five pieces of gill. She gives me 120 gill for it. Wow. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. Uh, let's go do this, because I think we have to go in there. So let's do the... Uh, this is the flyers. There's one. Go over here. There's another one. What is she? Those horns are weird. I don't know if those horns are like a glamour thing or if they're like part of the outfit. I don't know. Sorry, I'm, I'm looking at other players. <laughs> I shouldn't be looking at other players. I should be uh, continuing on with the damn episode. All right, so we gotta go in here and talk to this guy, Wolkan. You helping Bobo Nima? Well, ain't it charitable of you? Franz has gotten pretty popular of late, and his fans keep stealing these flyers and taking them home as souvenirs. Ah, uh, so you've met Bobo Nima's wife, uh, Bobo Lima? Bo I don't remember. Now, now I understand. Sorry to hear you got caught up in all that. If you ask me. They're made for one another. <laughs> Not that it's my place to judge mine. Any road, we appreciate your help. Alright. Oh, there's a potion. Damn it, I should have taken the ether. Shit. Alright, well, Wolken got another one for us. Wolken of the Gladiator's Guild is muttering frantically to himself about an infestation of ladybugs in the region. Carry your ass in here looking for work, eh? Well, you're in luck. Just what happens, I've a deed what needs doing. Wild ladybugs have been wreaking bloody havoc on the outskirts of town. Something in the air of late's been made them ornery as an oryx in rut. I don't know what an oryx in a rut would act like, but okay. Ain't much for fighting on their own, but a numbers are more than a match for any merchant who's seen more days at the teat than he has on the battlefield. Well, what'll it be? Fancy putting down a four or so of the blade buggers, or don't you? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? I'm just taking all the quests. I don't care. Zaza... Oh, fuck me. Zaza Riku needs an adventurer to pick up an order from the Goldsmiths Guild. Have you come to wish me luck? I appreciate the thought, but there's no need to worry. What? You don't know who I am? The next biggest thing that's come to the Coliseum? Zaza Riku is my name. and You'll be hearing all about my exploits in the coming days. I've even thought of it for a time... I've even thought of a title for myself. The Garnet Gladiator. Yeah, man. Of course, again, all of these people, they speak like they're Shakespearean. So, you have a constant... It's a constant stream of, what the hell are you people saying? 
Uh, ah, which reminds me, I have yet to collect the circlet I commissioned from the Goldsmiths Guild. You wouldn't mind picking it up for me, would you? Uh, really? You're just, you're... I don't even know who you are, and you're already asking me to do stuff. Jesus. Whew. <laughs> yeah, underneath that, I gotta tune to this. But yeah, it's a lot of reading. I mean, it's an absolute shit ton of reading. And... If you're, if you're saying it out like I'm doing, oh my god, it, it will break your throat. <laughs> my throat is just crazy raw. You know, I don't even talk this much whenever I'm like doing a regular playthrough of, you know, like Final Fantasy 2. It just feels like constant talking. Okay, so I've got that one. Let's go back this way. <laughs> Which I am going to start being a little bit quiet now. I swear. Just constant talking. <laughs> As a Riku circlet, just a moment, sir. Oh dear, this is so embarrassing. I'm afraid crafting the circlet to Zazariku's exact specifications has proven somewhat difficult. <laughs> we ran out of garnets halfway through our work, and we are still waiting for the next shipment. I hate to impose, but would you explain the situation in Crooked Haft at the Miner's Guild? My records indicate that he was supposed to deliver the gemstones yesterday. They have to slip his mind. Alright. Now, of course, this is the uh, Goldsmith's Guild. This is where you get to make uh, different uh, accessories. Uh, different things for those accessories. He must be one of the new races. Uh, which I don't really know what that is. Like the... Yeah, they're like a dragon race. It's really weird. Alright. Let's go this way. <laughs> uh, I may blink this out while I run in here so I can take another drink. Okay, I am back. It's good to have a mute button on the headset, right? Uh, Bitter Snow's eyes are those of a man in love. Wrought with worry and doubt, he appears to be waiting for somebody who has yet to arrive. What can be keeping her? My beloved Yellow Moon and I promised to meet at this very spot. But two bells have passed and I have nary a word from her. Gods, I hope she's alright. As much as I wish to go off and find her, I simply cannot. What if she were to come in my, my absence? Please, would you search for her in my stead? It's possible she's somewhere near the Weaver's Guild. She always enjoyed watching the... By the gods, do you do you think she's left me for someone more dapper? I try not to look like a bumpkin. To look a bumpkin. But I've no mind for fashion. Not really. No, you... You, all, you look like a standard... Uh, oh, God. You look like a standard goldsmith, really. I think it's the suit that they use. I don't know. Who knows? There's another Ethernet shard. Which eventually, I will start using all of the uh, the Ethernets uh, once I once I get them all together. I think I'm going the right way. Am I going the right way? Yeah, I'm going the right way. I love these Easter egg wreaths. The uh, you know the hatching tide Easter egg wreaths. This is which one is this one? This just a... I don't even know what this is. Cricket Haft. Uh, I have a mind to drain a pint, so hurry up and speak your business. She wants how many bloody garments? Seven hells, man. They don't grow on trees. But more than that, this lad that what fancies himself the next friends the fair ought to worry less about style and more about swordplay. Any road, I'll do my part to ensure the little bastard gets bedeckled and bedecked in all the god's damned garments he can afford. And if he dies in his first fight, well, at least he'll have a he'll leave a pretty corpse. Yes, he will. So there's a fire shard and grade one dark matter, which this is all stuff that uh, the dark matter stuff you use to repair equipment. Uh, the fire shards are crafting uh, ingredients, which by the time I start crafting, if I do any crafting at all, uh, I will have so many shards and so so many. Uh, 
I think it's shards and clusters. I don't remember what the third one is. But there's just so much stuff that you can do. It's just ridiculous. Uh, we're going this way. It's a maze down here. Uh, so it's easy to get lost. It's very easy to get lost. A tuning. Wow. And I think there's one more that's... Oh my god. The egg. Oh my god. <laughs> You've got to be shitting me. <laughs> wow. Oh, look at all these quests. Holy shit. Uh, let's turn one in first, and then we'll go from here. So this is uh, Yellow Moon. This is the one that the dude was looking for. Uh, Byragot be good, just look at me. Uh, this hair, this outfit, they don't match at all. I look atrocious. What was I thinking? Oh, you don't look that bad. You look alright. Oh, I can't let Bitter Snow see me like this. Maybe that last tunic was best, after all. Or not. Perhaps a blue? Huh? Bitter Snow is waiting for me? But I haven't anything to wear. But you look alright, chick. I mean, it's cute. I like that. It's alright on you. She looks good. Uh, what did I get? Lavender. That's an ingredient. That's that one. So, let's go... Freaking hell. What about you? Aethel Wine. Uh, Aethel Wine appears vexed by his work at the Weaver's Guild. This is the Weaver's Guild. And his need it is in need of a helping hand. Of course, the Weaver's Guild would be people that make outfits, suits, you know. Something in cream? Oh, whatever shall I do? This dress, I just can't seem to finish it. Oh, the design is flawless, absolutely flawless. Of that I have no doubt. But I simply cannot settle on a, on a color for the life of me. How would you like to conduct a bit of field research for me? I'm dying to know what color the ladies of Uda are wearing these days, especially on the Husting Strip. And when you're finished, please call on Liuku at the Alchemist Guild. The woman is a wizard with dyes. Have her cook up whatever color you find is most popular. Alright. <laughs> One more. <laughs> We're still going. Juliana. Uh, Juliana of Weaver's Guild finds herself at a trouble, troubling loss for manpower. If it is work you seek, the Weaver's Guild welcomes you. Indeed, your timing is impeccable. A soiree is to be held with all of Uldah's elite in attendance. Once the invites went out, the orders came in, and, and that with a fury. Every lord and lady from Cape Deadwind to the Centerfoot is demanding the latest fineries. I need hands, and I need them now. Yet I cannot spare the time to go off in search of them. Would you care to aid us, friend? I ask no more than you welcome to our doors any willing souls you might find. Of course, when they highlight that, welcome is a it's an emote that you can do. Come, let's see. Uh, let, let us see how you fare. Show me your warmest welcome. Of course, emotes. Uh, when words are just not enough, emotes can be used to express your feelings towards a person or situation. First, highlight a target if necessary. Then select social from the menu. And then emotes. Finally, select the de desired emotes from the list. All right, such as this. We go here. Social emotes. Welcome and welcome. There you go. <laughs> She's clapping. Excellent. I dare say I would work for you myself. Now hurry off. We need those people. All right. <laughs> Good God almighty. Oh, there's so much to do. Now these two. What do you got to say? We will dons have a weakness for fashion. Why, just look at me. I've taken the trouble to match my wrap to my hair. Ravishing, no? Of course, I think you're one of the welcomes. I shall welcome you! Welcome! Work at the Weaver's Guild. Huh. I'd be lying if I said I weren't interested. Uh, to whom might I go to inquire further? Well, there's one. What do you guys say? Gods, I can hardly contain myself thinking of the new dresses that will be at that party. Would that I were invited. Well, hey, you know what? Welcome! Come in and know me better, man. The Weavers are recruiting. <laughs> Finally, my chance to become a famous designer. Well, there you go. I, mean, I just made that girl's dreams come true. 
I know, I'm such a good guy. <laughs> what can I say? Uh, lurking leech. What do you got? What? What do you want? I've no time for your shenanigans. You're getting in my bloody way and a piss off. Piss off, you bastard. Welcome. <laughs> we even work. Take a look at me, friend. I'm a bloody guard and on duty, no less. Move along now. Nothing to see here. Move along. Move along. Uh, Bibi Bibichua. Bibichua. Fancy my garb, do you? And well, you should. It's all the latest range. Welcome. So the weavers need help, do they? Sorry, friend. I'm all set for coin. Aww. Aww, that sucks. Are you looking for a model? Oh, you naughty boy. Flattery. Flattery. We'll get you everywhere. He 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 he. Welcome. I appreciate the offer, but I must refuse. I'm all thumbs when it comes to stitching and whatnot. Oh well, okay. <laughs> sure, why not? I think there's another one here. I think this is one of the ones that we uh, we have to finally we get to the people that we have to ask about what color they want. The most popular color of late? Well, all colors have their merits, of course, but if pressed, I'd have to say red. Alright. Now, of course, the way that they laid this out, if you follow these all the way up, they will take you right up to the Alchemist Guild. Uh, that way, you know, it gives you the ability to see all the guilds at once. You know, the, the way they have these quests set out, they're very, very intelligently designed. You know, if you follow them up, and if you just keep taking them, uh, as you go along, it will eventually take you on this big loop of the entire city. That way you can see everything as you're going through. And like I said, it takes you to level 5. It's not that bad at all. Uh, Tedeshan. Uh, why? Any color is perfectly fine for a dress, you silly thing. So long as it comes off easily at the end of the night. Ha ha ha! Yeah, giggity. Uh, Dodomon. 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 What colors in fashion? Well, I must say, I, I'm just back from Gridania, and I find there's a certain verb to verdant liv livery. Verdant livery? Livery? Huh, green, you bloody idiots. Okay. He was correcting me, too. Jesus. Uh, did I pass? No, I didn't pass. That. Fast red. Let me guess. Red? Best color for a dress? Well, you know what they say. Once you go black, you never go back. I'm just gonna keep going, keep going. It's gonna be okay. A cordial spider, <laughs> yellow. What fairer color than that? In the name of the fairest maiden, yellow moon. Oh, yellow moon, how my heart pines for you. <laughs> A tuning. All right, there's that one. Look up this way to Bomolan. Uh, there's never shortage of white dresses in our and on our Uldan ladies. Surely it is the most comfortable color to wear under this. Yes, white reflects light. Apparently, I don't know. That's what I've heard. Uh, Cornell, Chris Cornell. Uh, personally, I've always had a thing for a motley of red and green overlaid with stripes of purple and dark brown. Wait, what? A motley of red and green. Overlaid with stripes of purple and dark brown. Think about that one for a second. Oy, oy, oy. The Easter eggs. <laughs> a lot of eggs, man. I that it was not there. There was not this much the last hashing time. There, there really wasn't. I don't remember. I don't remember there being this many eggs. So this is actually kind of cool. Kind of cool and kind of crazy. Uh, Ruru Rimu. Uh, red ever and always. So this is Uda, dear boy. Where the sun beats on your back with fiery fists, and the sins and sands are hot and unforgiving and everywhere at once. We will dons live for our passions, and our lust for life is surpassed only by our lust for lust. Our lust for lust. Yeah. All 
Alright. Oh, you've attuned yourself to all the Ethernet shards and it will die. Yeah, baby. Uh, yeah, I don't need to worry about that. So, the Gate of Naldthal and Sultana and the airship landings are all, like, outside of the city. So, if you ever wanted to just, you know, fast travel outside of the city, now I can. Okay. Okay, I got it. Let me go. Let me, there we go. Jesus, it wouldn't let me go. Where are we going now? To Liuku. You are here on the behalf of the Weaver's Guild, are you not? Yes, Ethan Wine said you'd be along. Well, what color is it to be then? Sounds as though you have two votes for red, one vote each for green, white, black, yellow, white, and black, one abstaining, which is the one that said as long as it comes off fast, and <laughs> one vote for a motley of red and green overlaid with stripes of purple and dark brown. By no means a resounding victory, but I suppose red it shall be. I have some catalyst I'll be saving for such an occasion. Mark my words, I'm going to concoct the most vibrant red Wada has ever seen. Alchemy may look arcane and esoteric to the uninitiated, but it is grounded in naught but science and experimentation. Indeed, I dare say it does more to advance culture and civilization than deny any other discipline. Yeah, I, I guess. I got an achievement! Storyteller 1. Uh, congratulations, you just received your first achievement. Achievements are earned by reaching certain milestones during your adventures in the Orzia. Uh, there are achievements for everything, for living classes, un uncovering locations, yeah, yeah, yeah. There are also rewards, and there's a guy in Old Cardania that once you get so many achievements, you go talk to him, he'll give you, like, a prize or something. Aelwyn. Uh, Aelwyn, or Aelwyn? Aelwyn. I'll just go Aelwyn. Has need of an adventurer to help him test a revolutionary new medicine? Yes, yes, yes. At last, my work is complete. Mark my words, this formula will revolutionize alchemy as we know it. With just a sip of this tonic, even raging fevers will be instantly extinguished. But I must needs test the adventurer. While I produce more, I bid you take this batch to Pearl Lane to a man there named Landebert. He is trusted by the other refugees. Persuade this Landebert to take my tonic and give it to his people. I require nothing in exchange. After all, if it is truly effective, it will be a tremendous boon to the advancement of the alchemic arts and uh, mankind at large. Sure. Oh, uh, we are slowly getting up on time here, aren't we? Uh, so let's go. Let's run. <laughs> but I hope you guys are enjoying yourself here. Uh, this is uh, this has been. This has been an interesting trip getting back into Final Fantasy XIV. I, uh, I honestly have not played much uh, XIV. Uh, I, I get in there and I, I do my daily, you know, Beast Tribe quests and stuff like that. But I haven't done any like raids at all. I haven't done any dungeon runs. And that's just mostly been because I have to relearn everything. I, I just absolutely have to relearn everything in the game. And it's kind of like... Well, it's very daunting. Let's just put it that way. It, it's extremely daunting for me to, to sit back and think, Oh my god, you know, I've got so much that I have to do that I really just don't know when I'm going to get the time to do it. You know, I, I have the time now to record this. And this, believe it or not, is helping me kind of remember... Uh, stuff that I have to do in the game. And eventually it, it will help me even more as I get into dungeons and stuff because I have to relearn it all. So hopefully this will translate over to my main character. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Uh, you've returned. How did you fare? Two potential recruits, you say. Welcome news. I only hope their zeal for fashion will show in their efforts for the guild. What we do here may seem all silk and satin, to be sure, but the work within these walls is far from easy. In that, I suppose our trade is not unlike any other. Alright. But I've been uh, mostly playing Final Fantasy 2, which, uh, depending on where you watch this, how you watch this, 
uh, I, uh, I'm right in the middle of my Final Fantasy 2 playthrough. Been playing that a lot as I edit and stuff like that. You know, enjoying that. Uh, like I said, I just haven't been leveling my main character here. Uh, Land of Burt. Here we go. Uh, medicine for the sick. Yes, yes, here. Ha, we're not fools, boy. We know full well what that bastard Aelwyn has up is up to. But we'll accept his medicine nonetheless. Look at us. Beggars can't be choosers. Might be as it's a mere experiment to him, but to us, it's only a, it's a matter of life and death. If we've got to choose between this bastard's swill and nothing at all, is it really a choice? No, I guess not. Alright, you got a quest. Landabert wishes to offer you a small token of his gratitude. Few come here by choice, and few are still bearing medicine. Your kindness shouldn't go unrewarded. This vase is important to us, but I want you to have it. It's just some old pottery, I know, but it might be valued by collectors of cultural artifacts. There are men who are willing to pay coin for such objects. If you go to the Sapphire Avenue Exchange, chances are you'll find one of them. Okay. And then, like I said, all quests lead you in a, tiant, in a giant circle of the city. This is the end of the circle. Uh, let's do this quick. Welcome, welcome. What might be, a, what might a discerning, gentle, discerning gentleman like yourself be looking for today? Uh, I'm going to give you this. Huh, permit me to examine this vase of yours. I hope you do not did not spend too much coin on this trash. A flood of like items brought in by refugees has destroyed what demand once existed. The markets are fickle, my friend. If you lose sight of current trends, you stand to lose everything as I once did. Market wards once bore my name until fate and hubris reduced me to this. For your sake, I pray that you do not have to learn this lesson the same way I did. Well, there you go. And I just got out of the level. So level three. Woohoo! So level three. There you go. Uh, had I actually gotten into my mailbox and gotten some of the uh, some of the uh, extra items that they give you, uh, like there, there's a Moogle hat that gives you uh, more experience experience boost. There's uh, some weapons that give you some other stuff. Uh, I would probably be level four or level five by now. But like I said, I haven't opened up the mailbox. I probably should. Uh, I've got those there. I should go ahead and do it. <sighs> Why not? But I'm going to go ahead and stop. We're going to stop right here uh, with this great-ass music going on in the background. But I'm going to stop right there. This has been Final Fantasy XIV. I have been Naked Evis Kane. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, like I said, we got to start playing it now because, as you can see, these this is the main city. One of the main early, you know, lower level cities, and it's empty. There's nobody here. So if I don't start playing it now, by the time I have to play to it in, in the playthrough, I, I don't know where it'll be. But, uh... Yeah, I'm going to start cutting these down to 30 minutes a piece, uh, going from there, seeing how it is. And, uh, yeah, other than that, uh, thanks again for coming around. Come back next time where we will continue on. We'll actually venture outside the city. We're going to do some fighting. Yeah! All right. <laughs> Nat, thank you guys again for coming around. Uh, come back next time, and uh, we'll see where we go. But I wish you all well on all your future endeavors, and I hope that the world lasts for you. Save often, take care. Uh, go, Ulda. Happy Hatching Day. <laughs>